Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Gala. At the moment, um, Gala is still moving in this ascending wedge pattern here that we discussed. Um, I see no change in trend at the moment, but a B wave pullback would be good um, for a nice setup for a rally in wave C yeah, to push higher. So um, that's sort of the current situation that we discussed in, in previous videos. We're dealing here with a situation in which we could get an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Yeah, that's not a prediction that the right shoulder will happen. It's more like, okay, if it shows, it might be an interesting setup because it is a pullback setup in a potentially new uptrend. Um, a breakout point is still at around about 2.8 cents, 2.85 cents. And the target for a breakout could send us to around about 6.2 cents, 6.3 cents. That's measured um, by taking the height of the head, adding it to the breakout point. In addition to that, that level is the previous swing high of wave four that was made in January. In addition to that, this is the 38.2 retracement level of the larger, well, retracement um, in wave two. Yeah. So there are a few levels there that are relevant um, in, in this potential in this potential increase here, we have, I think, only three three waves. So I see here a potential A wave, a B wave, and then the C wave as an ending diagonal, which is a five wave move. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got five waves up. Yeah, in a C wave, we have an ABC structure. That means we can also, um, we can identify five waves up in the C wave. It's technically complete. It, it doesn't need to extend any further. It's technically complete. If I am um, looking here at the length of the A wave and I go to the low of the B wave, then we typically would like to see the one-to-one -one ratio to be reached. And that's actually at 2.8 cents. So just before breaking out. So it could get still in a, another squiggle higher to complete it. And then we'll get a decision moment, decision point at 2.8 cents. You can see it's moving in some kind of an ascending wedge pattern, which often happens in a diagonal. The C wave would be seen as a diagonal. Yeah. And um, a breakdown of the wedge could likely send us down in the wave B. If we come down in wave B, which doesn't mean a direct breakout wouldn't be possible, okay? It's just sort of what, you know, what do we see right now, which is very choppy, sloppy, overlapping price action. And also we see bearish divergences here on the four hour chart. I mean, it's pointing towards a pullback. It's just that these diver divergences, they can take a long time to build and it can take really a while um, until we really see the price confirm them. Sometimes the price never confirms them, okay? And then we don't have a breakdown. So it might just break out directly, but um, I just highlight, I wanna prepare you for that setup. If it occurs, you might wanna act on it. That's up to you. Um, the support area is between 2.02 cents and um, 1.48. And as long as we're holding the 1.48 cent level, we are still looking for higher prices in wave C. There are different FIP levels and structural support levels that will become relevant in case we get that B wave pullback. Again, 2.02 cents, 1.84, 1.68 and 1.48 cents. Um, and if we talk about an inverse head and shoulders pattern, that right shoulder might um, find support here where the left shoulder found support, which is pretty much around the 50% FIP level, around 1.8 cents. Yeah, that's at the moment my view about Gala. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find additional content there every single day and you can find the links in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.